I will now demonstrate creating a data masking task, copying data from one Salesforce org over to another, masking sensitive fields in the transfer. Okay, so for this demonstration, what I want to do is copy over some data from a production environment, a production Salesforce org, over to a, a, a dev org for testing. And right now I'm looking at the cases tab for my dev org, and you can see I have no uh, data there currently, and I have no contacts or accounts. So let me take a quick look at the production org. All right, so I'm on the cases tab in my production account, my so-called production account here. And um, as you can see, I have a number of cases with uh, real companies. And if I look at one of my contacts here, you can see Jay Biebs. Um, so I have a live email address and phone number, etc. So now I'm going to go back over to Informatica Cloud to the data masking app and create a new data masking task to copy uh, that data over. All right, so I'm going to select my source All right, so I'm going to select my source connection, my production environment. And what I want to copy over are cases um, and their related contacts and accounts. So I'm going to use the family source type. and click Add. And again, this is similar to multiple source object that you've seen in data synchronization tasks, except here um, you select your top level object and then search for a branch. So I'm going to search for case and I get a number of different options here. And this first one looks pretty good. It includes the account with the related contact, asset, and case. All right, and if I click on the individual objects, I can get a preview of what's coming over there. All right, so next we'll select the target. So by default, same as source is, collect is selected. So if I leave this checked, it is going to overwrite my source connection. So I've selected a produc production connection, so obviously I do not want to do that. I'm going to select my other Salesforce connection here. And I'm going to insert. And then for external ID, the data masking service is automatically going to create an external ID field upon uh, running of this task. So here you can actually, you can change the name if you want um, to provide a name for the new external ID field. So I'm just going to uh, change it to demask ID. And then here's the option uh, for you to be able to delete this external ID after the task is run. And I'll show you what that looks like in Salesforce in just a minute after the task runs. Okay, and here's the data subset option if you want to create any data filters. And then once we get to our masking step, if you've selected multiple objects or family of objects, you can drill down to view fields by object. And here you get your masking rule column. So for any 
um, fields that you want to mask that contain sensitive data. Say account name. There we go. Substitution name. And then some of this stuff you, you may not need to substitute. Just substitute a few. And then going over to the contact fields, I definitely want to substitute the first name, last name, Uh, the email address and I'm going to select the email advanced option just to show you what the advanced configuration options are here so if I click on the configure button um, this is specific to the email advanced um, selection so I can select for the first name um, maybe I want my masked value to be uh, the f first letter of the first name with no delimiter and say the first 10 characters of the last name and I can specify a domain name as well and by the way the first name and last name th those are going to be your masked first and last name so whatever you um, have s specified in those fields All right, so I think we've, let's see, phone number, I'll mask that as well. All right, so the final step here in the data masking task wizard, um, if you are copying over from one Salesforce org to another, again, remember that you need to specify an agent to run the task, so you will need to select an agent under the schedule step of the wizard. So I'll go ahead and save and run that. All right, now I see that my data masking task completed successfully. And if I click on the job properties, I can see that um, eight accounts were copied over, uh, 12 contacts and 11 cases. And let's go back over to our my developer account. I can see the accounts that copied over. And if I look at, for instance, one of my contacts with this account, I can see the uh, advanced options for the email uh, came over. The first initial of the first name with the last name at infotest.com. Okay, so that is data masking.